Hello everyone, it's John back again with another product review. Today I am going to be reviewing the new flavors of Mountain Dew. Um, this one you probably have had before. This is Mountain Dew a Baja Blast, which is due with a blast of natural and artificial tropical lime flavors. And we all know this. It's a Taco Bell original. It used to be Taco Bell exclusive. Now it's a Taco Bell original. And um, I'm not sure exactly how long it's been out for, but it's been a while. I can remember it from when I was in high school even, maybe. That's going back to early, early 2000s. Anyway, I think this is the first time they've expanded the Baja uh, brand. Because they had Baja Blast, and now they have Baja Punch. Baja punches do with the blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavor, which is different than tropical lime flavor. So you got tropical punch, tropical lime. And then we have Baja Flash do with a blast of natural and artificial pineapple coconut flavor. So we're going to start out. We're going to just taste regular Baja Blast. This is going to be like a baseline uh, information. Just so, so we can see if, uh, if they've taken Baja Blast and changed it by adding different flavors. Or if these both were just built from the ground up as totally new flavors. And here we go. Baja Blast is going to go right here. You can see it's pale blue color you definitely get the, a lime smell to it it almost smells like a, if you've ever had the soda called Green River which is a lime soda um, I think it's regional to the Midwest I know especially during St. Patrick's Day around the Chicago area you see a lot of it it's a lot greener than this but that lime smell is just like this 7-Up had a upside down 7-Up also sometimes referred to as DNL um, that kind of was a ripoff of Green River and it also had the smell. Mm. Tastes slimy. Slimy, not slimy. But it tastes like a, I don't know, like tropical, but it, it's very limey. Maybe like a key lime. Maybe that's why it's tropical, because it's the, the keys. We're going to try Baja Flash next. This is the one that's supposed to be pineapple coconut. It's definitely heavy on the, the coconut smell there. But you can definitely smell pineapple as well. I've had different uh, pineapple sodas before. I've had um, Crush, Sunkissed, and like a generic um, Save a Lot brand called, I think it was called Pinez. But here you can see it. It does have a cloudiness to it, which uh, I'm guessing that's trying to play off of the fact that it has coconut in it. We all know coconut water, coconut milk has a little bit of cloudiness to it. So they've kind of made it so you can't see through it like the Baja Blast. It's good. It's a good blend of pineapple and coconut. Now, if you're someone who feels a certain way about either pineapple and coconut, I can see like how you might focus more on that flavor. So when I'm tasting this, I'm trying to determine, do I taste more pineapple or do I taste more coconut? It almost changes depending on which flavor I'm thinking of. So I'm thinking, like, hey, I'm going to pick up the pineapple notes. 
it's heavy on the pineapple. So I'm trying to like, okay, now think of coconut and pick up the coconut notes. It tastes heavy on the coconut. So in my mind, it must be a decent blend, or there's just a lot of both. I think it's good. It tastes like a like a light pina colada. Next up, we're going to try Baja Punch. Interestingly, in the Baja Punch, um, if you notice the, the cup they're using here, I believe that's what's called a hurricane style cup. The Hurricane is a uh, cocktail beverage, and it does have like a tropical fruit flavor, so I'm wondering if I'll, if I'll be reminded of that. I'm trying to remember when I, I know I've had a Hurricane before. It was at some restaurant that was like at the Disney Walk uh, Cafe. Over in, in Orlando, is that Disneyland or Disney World? I think it's Disney World. Anyway, they had a place called like the Disney Walk. And it's a place you walk, there's shops, there's restaurants and stuff. And there was some restaurant there. For some reason, I want to think it had like a, a Irish name. But they were famous for their hurricanes. Anyway, I remember getting one, you got to keep the glass... Either it broke or it was just like, hey, we never use this glass for anything since we've gotten it. And we have limited space for our dishes as it is. There's no reason to keep it. Maybe we donated it or maybe we threw it away. Don't know. It's not here anymore. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this one. Oh, the smell is heavy on the cherry. Oh yeah, it has that heavy cherry punch flavor. You know, this one you can see through. Yep, that tastes like a like a not a, a carbonated. Hawaiian Punch, what's the other one? Tahitian Treat? Kind of tastes like a, a Tahitian Treat. Very, very punchy. Um, heavy on the, on, the, on the cherries, and you can see there are pictures of cherries on there. There's also a picture of an orange wedge. Something that kind of looks like a flower. Another two cherries another orange wedge so orange and cherry probably which when you get a hurricane that's what they're usually in the glass some orange and some cherry so really you could think of like this uh, Baja Punch as more as your hurricane and you can think of the Baja Flash as more as your pina colada um, the original Baja Blast I don't know if it had like a tropical cocktail associated with it maybe margarita because it's like that classic lime flavor though this is more like candy lime like when I, when I think of margaritas I think of more uh, this might be just kind of margaritas that I've had and I've ordered before. Like a fresh lime juice flavor. Anyway, um, Baja Blast still good. These two new ones, a welcome addition. Now, of course, since I have three open cans, I'm going to have to do one thing. And make a mix.
So there you go. This is the Baja Trio. It has like a dirty uh, dishwater kind of color to it. It has a little bit of the cloudiness that uh, the Baja Flash had in it. I'm wondering what's in here that actually makes it cloudy. Ester of Rosin. Let me see if there's Ester of Rosin in these other ones. Nope. Yeah, that might be it. Ester of Rosin. I think that's what makes gives it a little bit of cloudiness to it. Alright, let's take the uh, Baja Trio mix. It does smell like all the smells, like lime, coconut, It's just like really sugary and an overall fruitiness. I guess since punch is already like a mix of fruit, this does still kind of taste like a punch. But definitely with a bit of coconut. tasty. Maybe they should do that too. Mix them all together. It's all like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a review of the new Baja series that started with Baja Blast and now we have Baja Flash and Baja Punch. Hurricane. Pina Colada. And that's how I would describe them in general. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit me in the comments with new items that you're curious about. Maybe I can try them out in the future. Anyway, see you guys later. Adios.